Hello everyone and welcome to The Good Old Gamer, the channel where we cut through the marketing BS, look at today's latest and greatest gaming technologies, as well as old technologies, and figure out what makes the most sense for you. So, with everything going on in the tech industry, we know that getting your hands on the latest and greatest in both consoles, CPUs, and even GPUs is very, very difficult. And today happens to be Black Friday, the biggest sale day of the year. So today I wanna to do a real quick video, just going over a few of the deals that I found that seem to make a lot of sense. And if you are in the market to buy a new PC or build or upgrade, the items that I feel make the most sense in today's climate. There are a lot of good deals out there, but building your perfect rig here today likely is not going to be possible. However, picking up some key parts at very good discounted prices, and then later on finishing off the build makes a lot of sense to me. Alrighty, so before we jump on over and take a look and see what deals are out there that I recommend, uh, if you like these type of videos, make sure you smash that like button. YouTube is getting really, really difficult for smaller creators such as myself by smashing that like button, subscribing to the channel, and commenting in the comment section below really helps out and gives YouTube the finger and shows that you guys do like this type of content. All right, so we're gonna jump on over to Amazon and see what deals they have going on here right now. All right, so right now memory is very, very affordable, much, much cheaper than it's been in years past. So right now the team group uh, DDR4 3200 16 gig kit here at $55 is actually a very good buy. I actually have one of these sets sitting right next to me for an upcoming build that I'm doing. So these guys right here, this is pretty solid. However, if you're looking for something a little bit quicker, we have the Corsair Vengeance 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3600. This is only coming in at $65. So for that $10 premium, that might be worth it to you if you wanna go with that little bit extra speed. So basically we have the less expensive option and the slightly more expensive option, but both of them are really well priced at $55 and $65. RAM isn't the only memory type that is heavily discounted this Black Friday. SSDs are going at the lowest prices that I've seen. Now, these aren't substantially lower than you could have gotten them a few weeks ago, but these are about as low as I've seen them. So right now we got the team group, one terabyte SATA, uh, SATA 3 SSDs coming in at $76. That is pretty solid. I picked one up actually just a few days ago and it was about $80. So it's a couple bucks cheaper here today. And if you're wanting a little bit more performance, Crucial's one terabyte NVMe, this is PCIe 3, PCIe 4 uh, NVMe drive, drives are just really, really expensive still. So if you're looking for the best possible deals, bang for buck, right now sticking with PCIe 3 makes the most sense. This is pretty fast. As you guys can see, I bought one of these uh, earlier in the year and I spent substantially more than $93.99. So this is a pretty solid deal here if you wanna go with that little bit of extra speed. Now, personally, one terabyte for me doesn't really hold up all that well. So I checked out the two terabyte drives as these are going to provide you enough storage to hold a lot of games. So in the SATA 3 format, if you guys need that or if you want to create an external drive, they're coming in at $169.99. This is about as low as I've seen on these. Usually between that $155 and $170 mark are typically the lowest prices for these drives. And if you want to go with the two terabyte uh, NVMe, same crucial drive, just bigger, coming in at $179.99. I picked up the Intel P660 last year uh, around this time, and I got it for about $185. So since then, the prices actually went up. So this equals the lowest prices I've seen on the NVMe 2 terabyte uh, SSDs. So this is a pretty solid deal right here. Now, another part that does not go bad and has been rather expensive here lately are power supplies. And I found this one from Gigabyte that's actually pretty darn reasonable. Now, obviously, they're a little bit out of stock here, uh, so it'll be a little delayed on shipping coming in December 3rd, but that's only about a week away. Um, but 650 watt, and this is 80 plus bronze. It's not modular, it is just your bare basic power supply, but coming in at $55, this is the lowest price that I've seen for a 650 watt bronze power supply in about a year. So this is a very good deal to take advantage of. And of course, you guys know I'm always gonna recommend the LG OLED televisions for your gaming experience. If you guys haven't seen my video, I posted it last week, it's a transformative difference. 
running uh, even something like an RX 580 on an OLED is a superior experience than running an RTX 3090 on any LCD in the world. I had somebody on uh, Discord actually ask me yesterday, it's like, what's the difference? Well, OLED and LCD are about as different as LCD and CRT. The technology is completely different. And like I said, the visual quality that you get out of this, each frame perfectly clean, it just delivers a transformative experience that you just can't get anywhere else. So right now they have the uh, LG OLED, the BX 55 inch. This one's probably the best deal right now, coming in under $1,200. I spent $1,350 on my CX model a few weeks ago, so this is substantially cheaper than that. And as you can see here, we got the 65-inch model coming in at $1,796. So those are pretty good. And the biggest difference between that and the CX model that I have is the BX model only has two HDMI 2.1 ports, whereas the CX has all four as HDMI 2.1. Also, from reviews, it sounds like the image quality is just a hair better on the CX model, but the CX models do come in at a little bit of a premium. I believe these are coming in at 1398 uh, or 1396 So it is, it's about $200 more now, and to be honest with you, I would say go with the BX model. That's a significant enough savings that this makes more sense for you guys out there. Now, if it was only like $100 more, I would suggest going with the CX model. Now, if you're looking for something smaller that you can mount above your monitor in your uh, office um, as a part of your desk, the 48-inch might be the one that you want to go with. But for some reason, there's always a premium on these because it is the smallest LG TV display um, that's actually reasonably priced. If you guys saw my last video, Asus has a 22-inch uh, OLED monitor available for $4,000. So that is uh, a much worse value than this even though this is a little bit more expensive right now. But as of right now, I could easily recommend going with the uh, the BX 55 inch OLED. This is going to give you guys a much better gaming experience than even buying an upgraded GPU. So I'd recommend keeping all the stuff that you have if you already have a PC or a game console and buying one of these instead. So this way you guys can actually get the most out of your upgrades here in the future. Well, alrighty guys, those are just a few items that I noticed that are really good deals right now. So like I said, if you want to pre-buy some parts as they're inexpensive right now, and then in a few months when Zen 3 comes in, RDNA 2 GPUs are available regularly, RTX 3000 series, you'll have everything ready to go. So I have links for everything in the description below. You guys can go ahead and check those out. I do, Like I said, I do suggest picking up especially SSDs and RAM because they are very, very inexpensive right now. And if you do need a power supply, maybe for a secondary PC, or you just want to have some extras, that gigabyte power supply is a heck of a deal right now, at least comparatively. I mean, a few years ago, you used to be able to get those for like $30 regularly. Nowadays, $60 to $70 seems to be the cheapest. So at $55, that's a pretty darn good deal. And then, like I said, I'm going to keep saying this, guys. Until you've tried the OLED displays, uh, you're really just throwing money away until you're gaming on one of those regularly. It's that big of a deal, guys. It, like I said, it's about as different as a CRT is to an LCD. That's how big an OLED, the difference is between an OLED and an LCD. There's, it's just completely different, and they're not even comparable technologies. So until micro LED comes out in about five years, your only real option to have technology similar to that is the OLED technology here today. So strongly recommend that. And at 1200 bucks for a 55 inch, that's a pretty darn good deal. So if you guys are interested, once again, links are in the description below. I hope everybody's having a great holiday weekend. I'm going to be doing some family stuff tomorrow, so there is no podcast going up tomorrow, guys. So I decided to do this quick little video instead. And then hopefully I will have a bigger video coming out either Sunday or Monday. So I want to thank all you guys for your support. If you like these type of videos, smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share with friends. That's the best way to help support the channel. You can also become a patron over at Patreon gets you access to Discord, and you can chat with me directly. I really do appreciate all you guys. Helps me get this stuff on hand so I can test it out and give you recommendations with real-world experience. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoy your holiday weekend, and uh, that's all I have for you here today, and I will catch you guys in the next video.